Hi there, I'm Joe Tai. You know, every age likes to think of itself as the age of anxiety. In 1997, Dr. Robert Gerzon wrote a book called Finding Serenity in the Age of Anxiety. 1997, that was before 9-11, before the economic recession of 2008, before the pandemic and all of the aftershocks that we will be experiencing for a very long time to come. Now, everything in Gerzon's book is more appropriate and relevant and important today than when he wrote that book back in 1997. You know, when I uh, decided to leave healthcare administration, strike out on my own, I read a book by Wilson Harrell, the late editor of Success Magazine, and the book was called For Entrepreneurs Only. And I'll never forget, Harold said, when you become an entrepreneur, when you start a business, for that matter, when you strike out to do anything that, that entails a risk, he said, you'll never again experience fear. Nope, fear is gone from your life forever. Why? You will have graduated to terror. <laughs> and given that courage is one of the most important qualities for any leader, any entrepreneur, uh, to have to instill in their company, in their organization, you would think that the people would study it more seriously. Study courage, study perseverance, which as we'll see later are flip sides of the same coin. Winston Churchill said that courage is the most important of all virtues. Uh, C.S. Lewis, author of the Narnia Chronicles, took that one step further and he said, courage is all of the other virtues at the point where they're tested. When I was uh, in business school, I, I, went, I did an MBA at Stanford and a master's in hospital administration at the University of Iowa. Four years, four years of graduate business education. I never once heard the word courage or perseverance in a classroom setting. Oh, we did lots of spreadsheets and we learned about EBITDA and things like that, but we never talked about courage. We never talked about how to create a courageous organization. And that's what this particular session is all about. Helping you cultivate a culture of courage and perseverance for this age of anxiety. You know, during the pandemic, I've been thinking a lot about what I consider to be the ultimate paradox in life. And that is this. Whatever you most need at any time in your life will be hardest for you to find at precisely the time you need it the most. It's easy to be motivated when everything's going great, job's going well, the kids are happy, you got money in the bank, you're about to go on vacation, you're motivated. But that's irrelevant because things are already going great. It's when your job is falling apart, the kids are in trouble, your health is struggling, bill collectors at the door. That's when it's hardest for you to be motivated. That is also when it's most important. As anybody who's ever lost a job and two years later said best thing that ever could have happened, they had to find the motivation to get up and do something, even though what they really wanted to do was crawl in under the bed and pull the door in behind them. It's easy to have courage when your fears are small. It's easy to persevere your way over little speed bumps. It's when the fears have become monsters, when the speed bumps have grown into brick walls, that's when it's hardest for you to find the courage to face down the fears, to find that inner strength, to plow your way through the brick walls, but that is when it's most important. And that's why this session we're talking about now is so important. The time for you to invest in your own courage and your own determination, the time for you to invest in a courageous and a determined culture is now before you hit the brick walls. I'm assuming here that you haven't already hit the brick walls. That paradox also applies to culture. Admiral Eric Olson wrote an article in the McKinsey Quarterly called The War on the Coronavirus. He said something really important. He said, you must not fail to invest in your culture because you're in a crisis. That's not a good excuse. He said, if you don't invest in your people, if you don't invest in your culture, it will go someplace you don't want it to go. And once it does, it is impossible for you to get it back. Again, that's why it is so important now for you to be thinking about how do you maintain your own courage and how do you sustain the courage of the people who look to you for leadership in the middle of a crisis like what we're going through today. In today's world, leadership obligation number one, I think of it as leadership CPR, 
courage, perseverance, and resilience, to which I add V, vision. Leadership CPR plus V. That's the most important thing you can do for yourself, for your team, for the customers that you serve. It's never been more important than it is today. And I promise you it will be even more important tomorrow. So let's get started.